GM fam. I'm a big believer that the fortunes in cryptocurrency are made not during the bull runs, but during the hard, long slogs of bear markets. For this reason, it's worth keeping your eye on what's being built over at Tokamak. Tokamak is on some level comparable to Vodium in that it helps steer liquidity to DeFi through competitions that they call collateralization of reactor events, or C-O-R-E, core. The mechanics are quite different from Vodium, though, and the somewhat complex architecture of Tokamak is built out with an eye towards optimizing incentives for the different participants in such DeFi events. For example, protocols may find that directly incentivizing their own liquidity pools could backfire. It could cause users to deposit too much of the less valuable token and cause their token price to dip. Meanwhile, LPs may be dissuaded from adding liquidity if they suffer too much risk of impermanent loss. So Tokamak's core reactor battles are architected with these concerns in mind. They've had three such core events in their past year, and during these events, LPs can add liquidity through single-sided staking, putting up, say, USDC or Ethereum to earn TOK with risk of impermanent loss passed on to TOK stakers. TOK stakers, or liquidity controllers, get to vote on which protocols win, sometimes competing by leveraging protocols who have accumulated a large stash of TOK, like Redacted Cartel's Hidden Hand. Tokamak is seeking now a curve gauge vote and intending to push much of their activity onto Curve's architecture. Will Curve Wars envelop the Tokamak reactor battles? At this point, it's up to the Curve DAO. We do know that these protocols who successfully build out these types of mechanics when the market is tight are going to be extremely well positioned when the markets inevitably roar sometime in the future. So keep an eye on this and do your civic duty and vote.